What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and we all knew that eventually this day would come. We all knew that it was only a matter of time before they made a Gabby Petito movie. And ladies and gentlemen, that time is now here because there is a Gabby Petito movie in the works over at Lifetime. Lifetime has greenlit the Gabby Petito story a movie based on the 22-year-old woman of the same name whose disappearance and death became widely publicized last summer. The film will explore Gabby and her fiancé Brian Laundrie's complicated relationship and what may, keyword, what may have gone wrong during their cross-country trip that resulted in Gabby's tragic murder. The movie, which is part of Lifetime's Stop Violence Act Against Women Public Affairs Initiative, will feature actor Thora Birch, who will make her directorial debut and portray Gabby Petito's mom, according to the network. Now, before I even give my thoughts on this, if you have to pause the video, then pause the video. I want to know what you all think about this. I want your unfiltered honest opinion. Is this too soon? Do we even need a Gabby Petito movie to begin with? I mean, I think we all basically knew that this was going to happen, but is it too soon? Before I give you my thoughts on what I think, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is it too soon? Why is it too soon? Why isn't it too soon? I want to know what you think, and I'm interested in having this discussion down in the comments. But as far as how I feel, like I said, this doesn't come as a surprise to me. Therefore, that, oh, this is too soon effect isn't really, you know, hitting, affecting me too much. But yeah, I do think it's kind of too soon. Mainly because I don't feel like the story is over yet. The Gabby Petito story isn't over yet. We still don't really know much, honestly. Like, yeah, we were all caught up in the spectacle. We were all there for the ride. But how much do you really know about what was going on between the two? How much do you really know about how Brian's family feels? We don't know what was in the notebook. We don't know any of these details. So in my eyes, the Gabby Petito story isn't really over yet. Therefore, it's definitely too soon to tell her story. We have a court case, hopefully, that is going to be coming up next year. And if that court case does happen, they're battling right now to try to make it not happen. If it does happen, then there's going to be a lot of information there. It's going to tie up some loose ends that we have in this story. So I just feel like if you're making a movie about Gabby Petito's story, you're, you're just kind of being dishonest in, in a way because you don't really know anything about her story. You don't even know how her story really ended. We know she died. We really don't know exactly how. We don't know why. We don't have those details. So in a way, yeah, I, I definitely feel like it's too soon simply because the story isn't even over yet. But I understand that this is how things work. You want to capitalize on things while while it's still a trending topic, if you will. Although the Gabby Petito story is not a trending topic anymore. It was definitely one of the biggest stories last year. But <clears throat> the hype has died down. But they still want to capitalize on it while, while it's still somewhat fresh. I understand that. I understand that's how the entertainment business works. However... When you hear what the movie is supposed to be about, that's what kind of puts me off because it's like, you don't know what may have happened between Brian Laundry and Gabby. So this whole movie is just going to be some made up nonsense that you made in your mind and you're basically attaching Gabby's name to it. Yeah, we know some of the loose details of where they may have been, but we really don't, we don't have anything to fill in those, those blank lines. And I don't feel like we need a movie to do that, to really fill in these blank lines with just fakeness. 
You know, so this whole movie, right from the right from the get go, it sounds like it's just going to be a bunch of BS, kind of in a way. Because if you're really exploring Gabby Bettino and Brian Laundry, what the hell are you working with here? Now, is Gabby's family directly working with you all, giving you all information? I know damn good and well the Laundries aren't. Imagine. <laughs> We watched the Gabby Petito movie, and in the credits, it's, oh, Roberta Laundry and Christopher Laundry, executive producers. And it's like, oh, they, oh, that would be mind-blowing. But I would assume that they're not really getting any information from the Laundries, of course. And I don't know if the Petitos are working alongside this movie or not. We know that Thora Birch is playing Gabby Petito's mom. But even in that situation, it just feels like... You're kind of capitalizing off of their pain for this movie in a way. Whereas I feel like there's an interesting story to be told surrounding the Gabby Petito story that doesn't have to create fake, you know, doesn't have to create a fake story surrounding her death. And you don't have to capitalize on the pain of her parents. There's so much other stuff that you could tackle in a movie about Gabby Petito. If I were to make a Gabby Petito movie right now, which I wouldn't, if I had the power to, I wouldn't. But if, if I had the task, hey, Cinema Shogun, we need you to make the Gabby Petito movie. Here's what I would do. I would take a similar approach to the story as I did with my coverage of the story. If you followed me along the way while I was covering the story, I never tried to dive too deeply into Gabby Petito's life. I never tried to creep right on in to Gabby Petito's family's life and explore how they felt about the situation. I focused my content on finding Brian Laundry. Where could Brian Laundry be? The mystery surrounding Brian Laundry and the spectacle that was going on. Because make no mistake about it, the Gabby Petito case was a spectacle. It spiraled out of control in so many directions. We had Dog the Bounty Hunter out here. You know, I mean, it's been a while since the case, but really let that sink in. It was so crazy while it was happening and there was so much crazy stuff going on that it never really got to sink in. But Dog the freaking Bounty Hunter was out here looking for Brian Laundry. That's interesting in itself. And let's not forget the protesters. Who's going to play this guy? In the Gabby Petito movie. That's what I want to know. I don't want to see who's going to play the fake Gabby Petito. Who's going to have fake Gabby Petito lines. In a fake story about how Gabby Petito died. Why not show us this guy. We saw him get snapped on in front of Gabby Petito's house. We saw them protest in front of Gabby Petito's house. What's up with the protesters? Who's going to play the protesters? Who's going to play me? <laughs> Why am I not in the Gabby Petito movie? I'm just joking about that, obviously. But I feel like there's a story that to be told here to where you don't have to over-dramatize it and you don't have to just insert a bunch of lies about her story. You could have the story loosely revolving around the, the loose details that we know. Like, okay, Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie were here, there, and there. We know she died on this date, what have you while focusing on this cast of interesting characters that were there every day. You had the protesters. You had Stephen Bertolino. You had Casey Laundry or Cassie Laundry or whatever her name was. You had Roberta and Chris. They don't even have to have lines in the movie. You could just show how dramatic it was for them to walk out their house all the time. You know, you could maybe Reference to the part where people thought Brian was living in their garden underneath the ground. There's so many avenues that you can explore without having to create fake details about Gabby's death and create fake details about Gabby and Brian's relationship. Because there was so much stuff that was just playing out. It was like a movie. Watching it, waking up every morning and watching what was happening outside of the laundry's house, watching the search for Brian Laundry in these wetlands. It was like a movie. Every day, new details. There was a cast of characters, literally. And they were all interesting, weird. Brian Enton. 
Who the hell is going to play Brian Enton? I joked about myself being in the Gabby Petito movie. I don't want to be in the Gabby Petito movie. But Brian Enton, he should be in the movie. He was camped outside the laundry house 24-7. He broke a lot of the news. Who's going to play Brian Enton? That's what I'm interested in. I would tell a story from the perspective of what we all saw unfold because I could factually tell you all that story in an entertaining way. It's all played out like a movie. And it, you could tell that story in an entertaining way, maybe raise some money for the Gabby Petito Foundation along the way. You could touch on Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie's relationship, but you don't have to over, like, you don't have to fabricate all of these details in order to create entertainment, which is what this movie's gonna be. It's gonna be an over dramatization of details that happen between Gabby and between Brian. And I don't feel like we necessarily need that, but that's what we're gonna get. And I'm gonna watch it. And don't lie, you guys are gonna watch it too. And when it comes out, I'll review it and we're definitely gonna talk about it. But as of right now, as far as I'm concerned, m m tad bit too soon. I don't feel like the story is over yet. And I don't like the approach they are taking with the movie. I feel like they should have approached it from a different angle and it would be more respectful and we wouldn't have this conversation about it being too soon or not. And you wouldn't have to feel like, hey, I just lied and created a bunch of lies about some girl who got killed by her boyfriend, you know? But I wanna know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you on the next video.